So this is just another illustration of a texture as an array used as a lookup table uh, for fragment colors. And the protocol of applying the texture to the surface of our triangles on the CPU side is typically we can load the image, BMP, PNG, other types from a file into CPU memory. So this becomes an array of colors or we can generate the image programmatically. Then we have to enable texture mapping using OpenGL interface. Then we have to upload the texture to OpenGL. Of course, uh, we need to assign texture coordinates to individual vertices, and that's typically done directly uh, inside the object modeling file. So this is already taken care of when the object uh, is modeled by modeling software. And these UV texture coordinates uploaded into GPU memory as part of vertex attributes, just like normal vectors and vertex coordinates. So then we specify additional texture preferences, like how we want to wrap the texture. We could uh, wrap them sequentially or we can mirror them. We can clip the image to a specific side. So we'll see examples of that later on in our presentation. And then in the fragment shader, we use uh, the new type of variable named texture sampler to access texture object and obtain texel uh, color. Uh, texel is the new term that we use and the meaning of it is uh, texture element, uh, meaning that it's the color that was sampled from the texture object already loaded into GPU memory. All right, so just another look at uh, texture coordinates, uh, which are loaded as part of uh, vertex attributes. So the vertex can have coordinates x, y, z, uh, normal vectors, also x, y, z coordinates of normal vectors, and uh, then two floating point numbers representing UV coordinates known as texture coordinates. So when this texture image itself is loaded into GPU memory, of course, a fragment generated somewhere in this area right, will be sampling its color from the corresponding area uh, in the source image here. And then if we have something in the center, of course, it will be going into the center of the image. And so that's the, the mapping. So the way it goes, we take the proportions of these UV coordinates in range from 0 to 1 and uh, sample them in the same proportion from the original image. As I already mentioned a few times, texture coordinates, those UV coordinates in range from 0 to 1, are supplied as part of the vertex attributes, just like coordinates or normal vector components. So texture coordinates are typically normalized. They really don't have to be normalized, but most of the modeling uh, software that allows people to model the objects then assigns those texture coordinates in range from 0 to 1. So this is a very common practice. So the UV coordinates are also known as texel coordinates or coordinates that the pixels on the fragment shader side, uh, these coordinates we call texel coordinates because that those are the coordinates of the pixels within the texture image, uh, something that we're already seeing on the previous picture. So coordinate uh, 0.5 will always be in the middle of the texture image regardless of the image size. So it's really the proportion that matters, not the actual image size. So Texel uh, as the texture element is just a convenient way to refer uh, to the color inside the texture when it's loaded into GPU memory and just representing the area where we can sample the color that will be corresponding to the specific part of the original geometry and the texture colors or texels or texture elements, texels, can be generated programmatically. And they can be generated as a two-dimensional structure or one-dimensional structure or even as a three-dimensional structure. Before we discuss various parts of OpenGL functions related to the texture management, I want to show you an actual sample that we have as part of our OpenGL 262 configuration project.